Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sirajul Akfazi. I welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to talk about enzyme catalyzed carboxylation and decarboxylation. You know my friend, carboxylation and decarboxylation are reversible reaction. In metabolic process, both these reactions are seen frequently. For example, formation of oxaloacetic acid from pyruvate in presence of an enzyme involve carboxylation. Look at here, pyruvate, carbon dioxide, ATP, adenosine triphosphate, water, oxaloacetate and ADP and inorganic phosphate in presence of Mn2+. So that's in an important reaction which is catalyzed by pyruvate acid and hydroxy acid take part in different metabolic process. Hence decarboxylation reaction is quite common in this reprocess. For example, formation of acetaldehyde from pyruvate in the presence of pyruvate type decarboxylate enzyme present in yeast cell. Look at here, conversion of this compound to acetaldehyde by removing carbon dioxide in this one. Similarly, in citric acid cycle, the first step is formation of oxalosuccinic acid as an intermediate compound due to dehydrogenation of isocitrate, which being unstable, readily decarboxylate to give the product. Alpha-ketoglutarate, this is an example of oxidative decarboxylation, which take place in two steps. Look at here, dehydrogenes, conversion of NAD plus to NADH, and then oxalosuccinic acid and alpha-ketoglutarate. So my friends, I hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like this video, then subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.